Hi, guys. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good, good evening, Eduardo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Lorena. How are you guys? I'm fine, thank you. Good. I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Good. 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 Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you guys again. Um, I'm glad everybody is here. Um, how was your day today? Well, for me today was a, a hard day. I had to do to to go to many places with my son. To he had um, endoscopy. I don't know endoscopy. 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 Endoscopy at seven a.m. Then he has another um, another appointment with with a gastroenterology. Then another with a no with an internist. Gastroenterologist. Gastroenterologist. This with the, then with the internist. Then he has a massage, a relaxing massage. Then oh, I was all the day. I was then to go to the pharmacy, to the doctor. Then to I have been all, I'm coming right now. I haven't been uh, taken in anything. Just. All day I have been. Uh, wow. Uh, so yeah. today was dedicated completely yeah. for the health. Because tomorrow he come back and, and I, I have to, to give him all the things that he needs. And then I, I was really tired. <laughs> but I, I, I promise no, no get sleep. I'm going to be paying attention. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Okay. Um, Oscar, welcome. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> uh, good evening. So good well, today, uh, well, for me, well, a little busy. Yeah, I bring uh, orders today. Well, uh, in one town, and well, in all the the road, it was full, full good. I don't know. Uh, todo salió bien. How do you say? Everything went well. Yes, everything went well. Yes, and and then I came to my house to my home, good. I'm glad to hear that, okay. All right, welcome. Oh, hello, Karen. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Wow, Karen, you are, you are matching so well with your environment, you know, everything. Your, your look look everything is in the same in the same shade of red the, the wall the couch her her, her shirt her mouth everything is just so well so well matched okay wow thank you i don't see that 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 is much <laughs> Yes. yes it all it all looks it, from well from my computer it looks like everything is just very well matched so. okay. thank you <laughs> okay all right guys um and let me say hi to let me see hello welcome Isael. Isael, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, teacher. Thank you. 
How are you, Misael? I'm fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. And, um, okay. Well, guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to start with... Um, we're going to start by... Uh, well, yesterday we talked a little bit about the present perfect, okay? And we talked about the future, sorry, the, the using the for and the since. <clears throat> Do you remember that? Do you remember that, using for and since? Yeah. Okay, all right, so just to see if you guys remember like a just like a review when do we use for for a period of time that's correct lorena for a period of time now tell me give me examples of how to use for what words can we use with for okay um, um... I'm taking English class for three months. Okay, good. So months, we can use four months. What else? Oh, yeah. um, I live in San Salvador for three weeks. Okay, so we can use it with weeks, right? Four weeks, uh-huh. What else? So months, weeks, what else? Um, I haven't seen my son for two years. Okay, good, years, uh-huh. So we have it for years, what else? We're going to be in class for an hour? Hours, very good, we can use it for hours, yes. Okay, in total, basically, there are 10 words that we can use with four. We can use it with seconds. Right, wait, wait, wait. I, I, well, you, Lorena, I wrote this in, in the information okay. yesterday okay. as well, so you can look at the video. So, but, but I will, but you, I will repeat it, okay? So, you can use it for seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minutes, Hour. hours, um, days, weeks, huh? mm -hmm. months, years, years, centuries. Good, yes, exactly. Uh, but wait, hold on, before we go the years, we have, after years, we have decades, okay, centuries, millennium, and millennia. So those are five, uh, and the other five, ten in total. Okay, so I'll repeat. Seconds, minutes, minutes. Hour. hours. Uh, days, weeks, weeks months, 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 years, years decades, uh, centuries, and millennia. Okay, pretty much those are the ones that we can use with the fu the future. Sorry, the future. The, the the word for. Okay. Now with the word since, when do we use since? For a specific moment. Sorry, can you re can you repeat that? Who? I don't know. Somebody somebody spoke. I don't know who it was. A specific moment. Good, yeah, a specific moment, excellent. Yes, we can use it for a specific moment. Okay, so um, the specific moment from the past. 
So, uh, anything that is in the past, anything at all, it could be, for example, since this morning, desde esta mañana, right? Since this morning, the morning was the past, so that's possible to use as well, okay? Um, it could be since uh, last night, since uh, Jan January, since 2011, since I was born, this again I see, right? Since um, since I bought my house, since I got this new job, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anything that started in the in the past, we're going to be. We can use uh, sorry. Anything that started in the past, that time frame, we can use it with the word since. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, good, excellent. Now, today we're going to be learning a little bit more about the uses of the of um, the uses of, of uh, the, the the present form. Sorry, the present perfect. What what did we say is the reason why we use the present perfect? What what was the reason we, that we saw it last last class? The action began in the past. I mean, and still continue in the present. Good, okay, so something that started in the past and continues to the present. And what we're doing is we're saying how long it has been, okay? So how long has that action happened, right? So it started, we know it started in the past, we wanna know how long it has continued up to the present. So if you say, for example, I have worked in the store for eight months, that means that I'm saying that I started working in the past, and until this moment, I continue working there, and I'm saying how long it has been since the moment I started. So, ah, and like they say in Spanish, ojo con esto. When I say for eight months, I the, I can also use the equivalent, which is since. Um, so eight months ago, well, in February, eight, eight months ago would be like, I think June, I think. So June. July, August, September, October, December. No, <laughs> July, August, October, November, December, January, February. It would be a little bit more. Okay, so before June would be May. Okay, so basically, um, we would say that May is eight months ago. So we can say, um, I started working at the store eight months ago, or um, I have been working at the store for eight months, or I have been working at the store since May. This is Mayo, which is the same thing. All of those same ideas, those those three sentences have the same idea, except that when you are saying the present perfect, we are telling you that we are emphasizing how long that activity has happened for. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Any questions at this moment? No question. No. It's all fair then, right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so what I'm gonna do then, um, since it's, since everything is pretty clear for everybody, uh, I'm going to um, explain more about the present perfect. And I'm going to be sharing the whiteboard. I need you to tell me when you can see the whiteboard. I can see the picture. Yes, right now. Okay. okay, good, 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 good. Just give me a moment.
Okay, so we're gonna t so we're the the topic we continue talking about is um. The present perfect. Hold on a second. It's pretty bold. Okay. Um, so we already talked about one of the functions of the present perfect, and but there's more than one function right so there's more than one reason why would we use we would use the present perfect okay um, we talked about that the first reason yesterday um, okay and um, another reason let's say I'm going to put this as number two because this is the second reason that we're talking about the first the first one was the one that we talked about yesterday okay so that's the um, the actions which began in the past um, and continue up to the present right okay and this one now is um, un unfinished temporary Temper, sorry, temper, temper, temporary period of time. Okay, so that's number two. That's the second structure. Okay, an unfinished temporary period of time. Okay, so that means this is when we're talking about something that. Um, that has happened a uh, but it's not um, like it's different from from the first one because the first one is more like a permanent thing that started in the past and it continues up to the present this one's a temporary thing okay so if you say for example in the other one i said i have worked at the store i have worked at the store for eight months that's pretty that's pretty permanent but this one is pair um temporary so for example we can say this is something that can easily change okay for example i could say um let me change the color here We have been stuck at home since the pandemic started. Okay? So, you understand how we have been stuck at home? Do you understand what that means? Permanecer en casa. Estar en casa. Quedarse, ajá. Stuck. Quedarse. Yeah, exactly. But it's more than just quedarse. It's como... Quedó. Quedó. No. It's more it's like when you say... Estar. It's more like um, to be stuck at home is like, say, like, um, como estar encerrado en casa. Stop. So it, it conveys the idea that it's something you don't want. So if you say, eh, estoy encerrada en casa, you are, what you're saying is, I'm here, but I don't want to really be here. Yeah? So that that's what it means. To be stuck at home means 
you're at home, but not because it's your choice, it's because you have to be. Does that make sense? Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Clear. There we go. Okay, and so this kind of kind of gets the idea that it's something temporary. We're we're oh, we're hoping that this is not going to be forever. Okay, or we can say, um, I have been eating, or no, but I said I have been. Uh, no, I have eaten healthy. I have been I have eaten healthy all of this week. I have been I have eaten healthy all of this week. Right? Yo he comido saludablemente toda esta semana. So this is this identifies that this is like temporary. It's not something that is always it's just all of this week, right? It's a period of time and it's temporary. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. It's clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I'll give you another, other one. They haven't seen him all of today. They haven't seen him all of today. So that means that this action of seeing him is is just temporary, right? Just like today, but they're gonna see him later. But in this day, they haven't seen him. No lo han visto todo este día. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, now for this one, like I said, we we continue using we continue using the um, the structure. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so we can we continue using the structure of the present perfect, which is going to contain the word have. Um, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to change this. I just because of the purpose I, that I want to. I'm going to change this to he has eaten healthy all of this week. Okay, um, so we're, we can use um, so have or has and in the case of the negative we're going to be using haven't or hasn't. Okay. And then, then we're going to be using um, the past participle. In this case, the past participle has been. What is the original verb? What is the original verb of been? Be. Be. Exactly. Be. Very good. So 
the B, the past participle of B is been, right? Okay. Um, and then we have eaten. What is the original form of eaten? Eat. Eat. Exactly. The, the, the past participle of eat is eaten. And then in this one, we have seen. What is the original form of seen? See. Exactly. So yesterday we used verbs that were regular. That's why you couldn't see the difference. But in this one, you can see the difference. It's very clear. Okay. So all of these are going to contain the structure of the present perfect. All right. Um, another reason why we use the third, a, th a third reason why we use um, the present perfect is, just give me a moment. Okay, so another reason why we use the present, the, the present perfect is when we have a repeat action. Um, in a specific period period of time between the present and the past. Okay. So this is a repeated action in a specific period of time between the present and the past so that that's that's something very important that it's um hold on give me a moment just give me one second okay all right, so this is a repeated action in a specific period of time between the present and the past. What does this mean, okay? This is, for example, um, this is, so basically this has to do, this is also something that, that started in the past. It doesn't continue to happen, it's actually something that's repeated. So it's not like something constantly, it's just something that has happened many, many times, okay? For example, um, he has been waiting for you. No. No, because this is a repeated action. Repeated action. For example, um, we can say, uh, we can say, you have, um, you have read that book three times. You have read that book three times. So that action of reading the book has happened many times. It's something repeated. It's not constant, but it's repeated. From, starting from the past up to the present. Does that make sense? Yes, I understand. Okay, or another one could be um, I have written on a uh, motorcycle many times before. So that means that you started to ride the motorcycle in the past. You or yeah ride on the motorcycle, you started riding on the motorcycle many times, and it happened many, many times. Maybe not constantly, it's not something that all the time happened, it, but uh, maybe it, it, in total, maybe it happened t 10 times or 20 times, right? And 
um, you know, it doesn't really matter what the, the, t the time frame, it could be like um, for, you know, it could be in the, in the total period of time of 20 years, or it could be in the total period of time of one year, but it's been many times, okay? Does that make sense? Class, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. teacher. I have one sentence. I don't know you. Well, correct, correct me is correct. You haven't eaten the three times. When you say the three times, are you talking about the meals, like like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we could say, for example, we could say um, she hasn't, she hasn't eaten um, her three meals she hasn't eaten her three meals or she hasn't eaten three meals three meals um three meals in a day for some time now so what that means is she hasn't eaten three meals in a day for some time now. What that means is ella no ha comido, comido, los, tres, no ha comido los tres tiempos de comida al día por, por algún tiempo ya. Algún tiempo. So, so what that Ni means... Ni esa es la palabra correcta, teacher. Perdón. Meals. Sorry? Meals es la palabra correcta para cuando decimos los tres tiempos de, del día. Tiempos de comida are meals, yes. Yes, it's correct. Tiempos de comida are meals. Mm -hmm. And we can say for they, you, and we? Um, yeah, because tiempos de comida is, is a noun. It's not, it's not a verb, so you're not going to like conjugate them. So yeah, you doesn't have it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's he or she or it. Tiempos de comida is a noun. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so um, again, here we have the structure that we have. Uh, been looking at with the present perfect, uh, which is um, you're using have, all right, or over here also have, or we can also use the has, right? And in the negative, it's not just has, it's hasn't. Okay, so we're using that. And then after that, um, we use read, okay, which is the past participle of read. Ridden, not ridden, it's ridden, the, the, the pronunciation's ri, ridden. So, ridden. I have ridden on a motorcycle many times, and eat. Uh, sorry, ride. Ridden is comes from ride, right? And then we have here eaten, which is past participle of eat. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, good. And um, all right. So there we go. And now let's talk about the fourth reason why we can use 
the fourth reason why we can use the present perfect would be um, Hold on, give me a second. Something, something that you expect to happen has or hasn't happened. Okay, so when you expect something to happen and it has happened or it hasn't happened, then we can also use a present perfect. Okay, what, what do I mean by that? Um, for example, uh, we can say this is a sentence that I hope many of you have already have can you okay so this is a sentence that i that i hope many of you can use you can say i've and i'm going to use a contraction there uh, hold on i've finished my or the or i have finished Section five in the platform. And I hope everybody or many of you can say that at least by tomorrow, right? So I hope everybody can say that. So this is something I ex like something that I and you expect to happen, right? You expect to finish this um, the the platform. That's what you ex your expectation is, okay? And we're saying that it has happened. For example, I finished section five in the platform, okay? Um, okay. Um, we can also use it, just give me a moment. Um, we can also use it, for example, um, it hasn't. It hasn't, it hasn't, um, it hasn't baked. It hasn't baked completely yet. Okay. It hasn't baked completely yet and I'll use the last one which is um, let's say um, mm, I haven't used which one haven't I used? I used all of them yeah I think I've used all of them okay I'll we'll use another one then you let's use you you um you've uh, written the report
Okay, so you've written the report. So that is um, something that you expect to, to happen. Or if I am, for example, your boss, and um, you, you know I expect you to do it. So you say you've um, you've written your report, right? So yay, good for you, right? You've written your report. All right. So this is something we expect to happen. So for this one, again, once again, we're going to be using the same structure that we have used in the past, which is um, using have or have have or has. And in this case, we have used the contracted form of it. Oops, sorry. Let me change the color so you can see it. So we used, in this case, we've used the word hive, or the contraction hive. Okay. In this one, it's the contraction. In this one, because it's negative, then the contraction would be on the on the has. So it's it would be hasn't. Okay, and or over here again the apostrophe v. I've written. You've written the report. So all right. And of course, just like the other ones, we're going to be using the past participle. In this case, we've used a lot of uh, regular verbs, like finished is a regular verb. Okay. So I have finished, which is a regular verb. Um, baked is also a regular verb and written which is not a regular verb so that's why it's going to be a little different which it comes from the verb write okay written all right so in this one you expect something to happen and you either say that it has happened or it hasn't happened now i want you to notice something when we say that we expect something to happen but it has not happened, okay, you're, ex you're expecting it, that's what you expect, but it has not happened, I want you to notice that we use the word here, yet, okay, all right, and that's when some, that's when the, when it's something of the negative, like, if this is negative, we, we're saying we expect something to happen, but it hasn't happened, and so the yet is like a, um, Let's say that it's like, a, what's it called? Like an emphasis. Like an emphasis that that action it has not happened. Okay? That's why we use the word yet. How would you say that in Spanish? How do you say yet in Spanish? Yeah. Todavía. Yeah. Aún. Yeah. Todavía o aún. Exactly. Okay? So you say it hasn't baked completely yet. No se ha... Um, horneado por completo todavía o aún okay so that that yet uh, is is emphasizing that that action is not uh, has not been fulfilled your, your expectation is has not happened and the the yet is usually used at the end of the sentence okay is that a clear yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Another thing that I wanted to explain to you is that when we are talking about um, expectations, we saw the word get, but there is another word that we can use to talk about expectations. And this is expectations when it has happened. The expectation that you had has happened. And because it has happened, we want to emphasize that it has happened. And in this case, we use the word already. Okay, the word already emphasizes that it's finished. Okay, that that expectation existed and it happened. Okay, um, now, so we can say I've already finished 
I've already finished section five in the platform. Oh, this one's another one that of expectation that did happen. So he said, you've already written the report. Okay, so that's another word that is possible um, other than the word yet, uh, other than the word yet. So yet is a word that we can use to emphasize that something didn't happen, that something you expected didn't happen, and this is to say that something you expected did happen. Okay, now, um, because it did happen, oh, sorry, we're going to use the word already. Now, um, I want you to notice the, the, the position of the word already. What is the position of the word already? Who can tell me? After the ha have or has. Exactly. After the auxiliary have or has, okay, and in between, and in be so basically it's after have or has and before the past participle. So in other words, it's going to be in the middle. It's in between. That's the structure that we're getting. That's where you're going to put it. Okay. All right. So the already goes between the have or has and the past participle. Okay? Okay. Now, question. How how would you say already in Spanish? Listo. Listo. Todo está listo. Tengo listo. No. Ya. Estamos listos. Estamos listos. No. Está completo. Yeah. Who said it? I heard it. I just don't know who said it. Es ya. 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 Exactly. And, and I'll tell you what it means in the context. And you say, I've already finished section five in this platform. It would be like you're saying, Yo ya terminé la sección cinco en la plataforma. Yo ya terminé. Or, you've already written the report. Tú ya has escrito el reporte. Okay? So this, again, is emphasizing that what you expect did happen. And this is the yet is emphasizing that what you expected did not happen. Does that make sense? Teacher, yet is uh, only negative. Correct. Uh, yet is when when uh, when expect negative. When when you expected something and it did not happen. Oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, um, one example. Uh, she, she hasn't finished completely yet the homework. She hasn't finished completely yet the homework. No. Um, you would say she hasn't uh, finished um, the home. She hasn't finished completely. No, hold on. Wait a second. The homework yet. Give me, give me a moment. She hasn't finished. She hasn't complete. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah, we see. She hasn't completely finished the homework yet. The completely has to be after um, hasn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but the yet would go at the end. As you see, the yet goes at the end. So she hasn't completely finished the homework. Okay. Any other questions? No questions. Okay, now, if you are asking somebody a question, for example, if they have, um, ha, uh, if you, if you're asking somebody if, um, 
if they have if they have done something you would say for example have You can say, have you finished, uh, have you finished section five in the plat, in the platform yet? Have you finished the section five in the platform yet? That's one way that you can ask if about some, an expectation. Okay, so we can ask like this using the word yet at the end. Okay, have you finished section five in the platform yet? It's like you're saying, Has terminado la sección cinco en la plataforma ya todavía. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. ¿Has, has terminado la sección 5 en la plataforma ya? Yeah? Right? Or, or it's also possible, it is possible to ask, for example, um, give me a moment. You can also ask, have you already finished, finished, section five in in the platform form in the platform okay have you already finished section five in the platform so that that's another way we can do it so have you finished section five <clears throat> in the platform yet so that is one way putting uh, asking about a question of expectation, putting yet at the end, or we can also use the already. All the time though, just make sure that independent of um, of if you're using yet or, or already, uh, make sure that you are starting with have or hasn't, or sorry, have or has, okay? So have you, have, have I, has she, okay? And then we use a subject, right? Um, see. Oh, sorry. All right. So we have the the subject, which in this case it would be you. Okay, and both of them would be you. Okay. And then of course we're gonna have the past participle, which is finished in this one. <laughs> finish this one as well um, and the only difference is going to be that in the first one we have decided to use the word yet okay. right okay and in the, in the second one we have decided to use the word already but you will notice that it continues using the same um, the same it continues using the same um, order so the yet would still go at the end and the already would go in between right okay after the have and the answer is going to be short answer short answer is going to be straightforward we would answer um it would be with the with the with these um auxiliary right so yes subject um, have or ha has okay? or no subject plus have sorry haven't or hasn't teacher I have a question Okay. Is 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 correct uh, use a uh, yet in in the in the question or or in 
o, o only in negative in sentence negative is negative you can use the word yet in a question but it always like i said yet has to go at the end so you can say have you finished section five in the platform yet or have you already finished section five in the platform yes okay and like i said this is the structure that you would use for the answer um so yes and then we have the subject have or has or no plus the subject plus have or hasn't okay um, there you go okay any questions at this point uh, i have a question uh, if the answer uh, is negative i can respond no yet uh yes you could say but you can say no not yet not yet okay it's answer sure that, that yes that's also a, a possibility yes thank you for bringing that up i'll actually add it here so that it's so you can see it um let's see Cooperate with me. ¿Qué le pasa? Okay, there we go. I see no error. Okay. Um. So, the other possibility is, it could say if I if my answer is negative, I can say no. Not yet. It's like when you're saying no, aún no. Right? So yes, that's a possibility. Okay. Any questions so far? No, thank you. Any other thing that you want to ask? Now is the moment to ask any questions that you may have. It's all clear? It's clear, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now there is one more reason why we would use the present perfect. We saw the first one yesterday. Today we have seen three reasons, and there's still one more that we're going to be discussing tomorrow. Okay? And, uh, but you should have enough information to almost finish everything from section five and, um, and, the, and the, the final exam. Okay, remember, remember class, for the final exam, sorry, for tomorrow, you need to have finished the platform, okay? Um, so this is absolutely necessary, we can't, we, we can't delay it anymore, okay? So, um, like they say, no hay de otra, okay? O, o lo termina o lo termina, porque eh, si no lo termina, pues va a tener que decirle adiós a la, a la, a la beca, ¿verdad? Así que eh, hay que terminarlo, okay? Um, hay que terminarlo. So, um, what I need you guys to do is make sure that for tomorrow, you have finished the majority of section five, okay? Um, the, um, actually, I asked you today to, to work on the platform and do section 
5.12. Did everybody do section 5.12? Yes. I done the, the, the platform. You're, you're done the platform. Okay, wonderful, excellent. Very, very good, Karen. Okay, now for the people that are not done the platform, um, you should have already done 5.12. And I don't remember what number that is, but you are, you should be able to do like, I think, I was not give it 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, I think it's 5.5. I think 5.5 or 5.6. One of those. I don't remember the, the number right now, but you should be able to do it today. And then the other one, el, el último que, que falta de section 5, eso es la podrían hacer mañana después de la clase, perdón, eso no debería de tomarle mucho tiempo, pero solo, si acaso dejen solo una sección, una, una partecita, perdón, perdón, no una sección, un ejercicio, perdón, un ejercicio para que no les cause mayor problema, ok? Um, y... Acuérdense, tienen que haber terminado, pero sí, tienen que haber terminado eh, el, la plataforma para el día de mañana. No hay de otra, tienen que haber terminado para las 12, hasta las 12 les van a dar para poder terminarlo. Ok, entonces, eh, ¿saben que Solamente voy a, voy a, para, para efectos ahí de... de Bueno, creo que, de hecho, mmm, creo que si, si no me quemo, mmm, déjame sí. Va, mejor lo voy a tirar. Okay, voy a tirar el, 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 la encuesta ahorita, por las dudas, voy a tirarlo ahorita. Ok, so, you can start, you can start answering. Uh, aún me faltan, me falta una persona más. Me imagino yo que, que nos van a avisar del otro curso cuando inicie y ya cuando haya terminado este primero, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, Karen. Sí, es going, it's going to be when, um, yeah, when everything is finished. Ok, va. Les comparto. Ya terminaron todos. Y te les comparto. Ok. So, you, as you can see, most people are finished uh, up to section 5, the majority. Very, very good. Excellent. Solo que hay, hay como dos personas que no, ha, no me han puesto section 1, 2, 3 y midterm. No sé si es que ya lo hicieron y no lo pusieron. O es que realmente no lo han hecho, no lo no han terminado. Si es así, por favor, esta noche póngase así a todo dar con hacerlo porque necesita ir terminado para, para, que, para que puedan pasar. Y, eh, y veo que la mayoría, pues ya completó toda la sección, sección 4 y la 5. Y, um, y algunos que ya completaron el final exam. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Eh, entonces, homework, just to finish the platform. Um, como les dije, si acaso, solamente que les falte tal vez, um, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Un, un ejercicio de el, ¿cómo se llama? Del, um, del section 5. Y unos cuantos ejercicios ahí de, del final exam. Mañana vamos a ver el final exam también. Ok. We're going to be checking, um, giving you any, any, helping you with any questions that you have about the final exam. Ok. Any questions at this moment? No questions, teacher. 
No, no question, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so the pre, uh, the the present perfect is clear for everybody. Everybody understands the present perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. In that case, guys, that will be all for today. I it's been a pleasure seeing you, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Have See a good tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.